I'm Brad Bain, the Chief Operating Officer for Ipsos InnoQuest in the U.S., our innovation and forecasting specialization. There are a few things that fascinate me about store brands. For one, products that started out as low-cost generics have evolved to have their own equity, their own positioning, and in some cases even to command a price premium. There's nothing generic about that. Two, consumers in many cases can no longer tell the difference between a national brand and a store brand. And in some cases, they have an active preference for the store brand, beyond it just being a lower price. Take a look at some of these store brand products I picked up recently at Target. From the food side to the packaged goods side, what you see are really some pretty advanced and evolved branding practices in place. As a shopper walking through the store, would you be able to distinguish between the national brand and the store brand? I don't think I would. There's nothing about these products that suggests Target, or really any other retailer, is giving an inch to national brands. Third, as researchers, we still choose to actively ignore store brands, treating them as if they're out of scope for our purposes. We pretend they have no equity. We pretend they have no innovation. We pretend that the only way to compete is to lower our prices, and we certainly don't want to do that. The net impact? Your research is letting store brands win. Join me on September 12th at 1.30 Eastern Time for a complimentary webinar on how to evolve your research process to compete more effectively with store brands, and national brands too. You can register by clicking on the link below this video. Hope you're able to join me.